Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your love reading for May 23rd, 2021. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits. Leave the rest. You can get a personal reading. There's a link in the description box below if you would like to get a personal reading. Please do subscribe to my channel if you're new. You can also subscribe to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, um, here on YouTube. All right, Virgo. Oh, and you can follow me on Instagram at House of Virgo or Moon Pie Tarot. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay. <laughs> it's definitely a romantic proposal coming in. Okay. Somebody here ready to make a change after heartache after a split or a breakup of some sort okay um so let's see i feel like somebody perhaps in the past was kind of like just you know love came in or there was like this, there's a there was a new start of some sort in the past and this person was just kind of like enjoying the attention feeling free this person maybe they were traveling just um you know indulging in love offers I feel like this person maybe had like people in every port <laughs> you know a lot of options with them and they were just kind of like being in this victory and every time when they travel or they go somewhere else there maybe there was somebody you know always there offering their cup of love and this person I feel like was just continuously collecting those cups you know and indulging in them okay yep every time there was a heartbreak or something didn't work out then they would go to the next one okay or go to the next person um we have the three of swords here twice um okay king of wands aries leo sagittarius she could have been connected with or someone who was just you know sitting up on their throne you know being charming courageous you know they being like a they have all the power acting like they were just you know could have anything they want or anybody they want i know it's not the best thing but it just feels like they indulged in the love that would come in okay every time they would travel that's what it feels like <laughs> the chariot and we have cancer energy okay um every time this person would travel or they would make some kind of change or they would do something or take action. They would initiate um, action to get, you know, the love coming into them. It feels like whack-a-mole. <laughs> you know, when one thing didn't work out or they were indulging and not giving back, then some, there would be a break or an argument and then this person would just move on to the next and then, you know, initiate um, new love do something to have new love coming to them okay presently though i feel uh here's your card here virgo that's you i feel presently you have love coming in you have like a romantic offer a proposal coming in could be from a pisces it could be from a cancer or a scorpio okay this person comes from let's see very structured um Hmm. Stable situation. Let's get a clarifying card here. Okay, four of Pentacles. Very protective. This person, very protective of their money. They have good financial stability, but they're just, they don't share too much about their home life or their family life, that kind of thing at this time. This person might be retiring or is in retirement. It's holding on to the last little bit, saving money, all right? Holding on to their money, um, holding on to the last little bit. Um, I, I'm just picking up like retirement, saving for retirement or they're in retirement. Um, coming towards you with this love offer here, temperance when the time is right, Virgo. It's all about timing, okay? Um, I feel like there might be somebody coming in here. I'm not really sure who it is. Um, but I feel like this person is coming into your life or I don't, I don't know exactly if it's past or new, but there's an energy of somebody coming forward here, maybe saying that they want to be with you or they want to marry you or something like that, but they need you to be patient or they're, they're going to come in with this very patient, slow energy. 
Um, and I feel like mostly it's because you're you're sitting in your high priestess energy. You're kind of like being a mystery. You're not talking. You're not communicating. You're like, you're just kind of like, you're sitting in a receiving position and trusting your intuition. You're not trying to like force anything. You're not chasing. You're not running. You're being very still. Yep, four of swords and quiet. Like you're in retreat mode. <laughs> you're in rest, rest mode. You're like renewing yourself recovery mode of, of some sort i feel like there is somebody uh okay so if this is some uh, i'm just feeling like somebody not willing to let go that's what they said not willing not willing to give up or let go of something um let's see what's going forward so this is present what's coming forward queen of swords three of swords two of swords you know what virgo it looks like you're not it, you're taking on that Queen of Swords energy after this comes in here. Yeah, this is definitely you. you got the Hermit. I think the truth is we're going to give this person the truth and say, um, I want to be left alone. <laughs> like, I don't want anything serious right now. I can't. Um, thanks for the offer. Thanks for the romantic proposal. But I'm not. I just something's going on with you like you're you know it may just be a communication that, like i'm you saying to somebody because the queen of swords is very truthful and you coming forth like i am just trying to get clarity here um i'm staying like i'm being self-sufficient i'm providing for myself um uh, maybe this person went into hermit mode and they disappeared and you might communicate with them about that or that they went into like this silent kind of thing um, they might have been trying to sort things out for themselves, but it doesn't matter that maybe they didn't let you know or didn't say anything. So you got the Three of Swords. I feel like you're just, you know, there might be an argument and a, and a blocking or a breakup and a blocking. Let's take a look at the Three of Swords. Okay, Justice. Wow. <laughs> Some of you are like not trying to do the marriage thing. Um, maybe you're going, you're going to get a divorce or breaking up with this person. It could be a legal divorce or separation. You know, I feel like for you, you're going to be fair and reasonable and tell this person, you know, total truth here with justice, um, cause and effect. And it's going to be a win-win in your mind. If this person was, you know, that whoever they are, like their lifestyle in the past, maybe you know about it or maybe you find out about it and they come towards you and they want to be with you. And you're like, I don't think you're ever going to get out of this. The third party thing that you're doing, you give them the truth, you tell them. Because I feel like this person is just kind of like. It's just flip-flopping around like a fish. I don't know. Right? Um, now, for some of you, you know, I don't know who is coming in. It could be a Sagittarius, Virgo, Libra, Cancer, Leo, Aries. Um, whatever, whoever it is that's coming in that's trying to, like, push something forward but asking you, you know, like maybe at another time or something. I feel the energy for you right now is, you know, it's like I got my heart broken and I'm not ready to proceed forward yet um, or even speak to anybody yet. Maybe a date here or two. But as far as like romantic proposal coming in, I feel like it'll be nice and it might help calm you. Maybe something you need. But I just kind of get a sense whether this is a past person or somebody new. You're like... <laughs> My heart is still broken or I'm not trying to get my heart broken yet. I'm just not ready. You have the two of swords. <clears throat> so you're just kind of like, all right, you know you need to make a decision. There might be two suitors. You know you need to make a decision or figure out what you want. But right now, you're just kind of like blocking that energy. You're holding off before a tower moment comes right and and this is also like for some of you breaking somebody's ego down you're like no we're not communicating you know you need to like break down that ego and stay away from me for others this is like 
you know what, I'm just not trying to have a tower moment with anybody right now, okay? Even the tower can be a very sexual phallus symbol, right? Um, you might be blocking that as well. If somebody is coming in with that energy of, you know, trying to get physical with you right away, okay? Which is fine. You got to do what you got to do for yourself. Um, but I do feel... There is something here with, well, the world. Your way of initiating change with someone who's coming at you with some bad energy is, you know, your way of like breaking the ego or initiating change and, and like having everything fall apart so there can be an opportunity to rebuild again in your life or just in love or with anyone is to just like pull out. You're pulling out you're just you may not be communicating with this person you may be in co no contact you may have blocked them everywhere maybe they did this to you whatever it's necessary at this time it feels like okay so now we have scorpio energy we have taurus aquarius okay so let's take a look here I just kind of feel like whoever's coming towards you could be anybody <clears throat> and is making love offers to you. Mostly it's because you're not interested, but also it's because you're not interested. You just don't want to be bothered with any love right now. Um, perhaps because I'm not feeling like fear. I just feel like You're waiting for the right time. You're waiting for the divine. You're waiting for God to tell you when it's time to go, when it's time to like move forward in your love life at this time. And that's great. That's what you really ought to do, okay, for yourself. Um, you're just not committing to anything or anyone. Let's take a look and see what your angel wisdom messages are here, Virgo. Okay. Wow, you have the Knight of Swords. Decisive, focused, driven, defensive. Events that move with great speed choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. So the Knight of Wands energy um, can represent like a fast talking person or a lifestyle change. So either somebody's coming in to like communicate with you, um, maybe they're going to try to make, have a lifestyle change here, whatever they're doing, um, there's an energy of being driven, maybe a bit defensive, but haste. And I feel like you also have that energy. It's like two knights charging towards one another. Who's going to be the victor? Okay, make a choice. Stop procra procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options and addictions. This could be some of you're dealing with or you. I just feel like there's an energy of like, you are in this place of like needing to make a decision. It doesn't necessarily feel like about one person. It just feels like your path forward. What, what do you want? I just keep hearing that, I was saying that yesterday, that scene from The Notebook where Noah's asking Allie what she wants because she has to make a choice whether to go with Noah or whether to stay with the person that she was married with. Um, that could be symbolic of two people. Some of you might have two people it, or like an energy of one person and then getting involved with somebody else. Or it could just be an energy of like, do I stay in the place or the position I am or do I just knock it out of the park and go for the go for the run you know so you're kind you're being asked here don't um overthink it just get the clarity on what you desire that's all you're being asked what is it that you desire and then move forward with that right because you may be feeling confused and i feel like it's your person your person as well you're both kind of like maybe desiring the same thing. Um, but like I say, desire is only the first part of the equation. You know, you got to have the second part, which is moving forward, taking action. 
okay i feel like you do have somebody here who is making a choice and is is going to stop procrastinating and is going to is getting clarity and is deciding to move forward and really come through quickly okay to tell you that they've made a decision but i don't know if you're wanting to accept any kind of offers that are coming in right now or offer yeah look at you you're working on yourself virgo do what you love recognition for the highest quality of work especially creative endeavors being paid well for your craft working well with others an excellent reputation some of you are just working on you know your businesses you're working at your job doing some art you have your hobbies you're very focused on like creating a masterpiece in your life the three of pentacles can be a card though of it can be a card of um marriage as well and i feel like maybe you're trying to question and asking yourself and crafting up like what do you want in a partner what do you need so you're really at this place and i feel like once you get that clarity and you figure out what it is that you want then you're going to knock it out of the park and then you're going to like have movement forward with the world you'll be able to start a new chapter in your life either with that person or with somebody else or just on your own you know creating you know making whatever you're creating like that that to be your focus okay i just want to get another one and then i'm gonna leave your reading one more card please for virgo for the next 24 hours okay yep seven of pentacles seeds well planted efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future the need for patience a time for resting and planning for the future unnecessary worry the seeds that you planted prior to this reading will bloom okay there will be a reward for these seeds you've done some things in the past some efforts some investments that you made um, you know, like when you plant a seed, it takes a really long time to see those blooms, to see the fruits of your labor, the things that you've worked hard and you've invested in. It's taking time, but it feels like you just need to be patient. Okay, the answers will come to you with what you want to do. What path? Yep, I don't know if you heard that alarm sound, but that was your message to just really be patient love love is coming in for you um definitely from somebody here and you know decisions being made but i think you're trying to work out some kinks in your own life at this time so virgo that's your reading please do hit like share and subscribe i hope you enjoyed that stay tuned for the next reading will be the next 24 hours after this and i will see you all very soon all right take care bye